is an urgent call to protect the homeless after the first confirmed case mm -hmm. on Skid Row. CBS News Car Finstrom is in downtown LA with how the mayor plans to help and new guidelines for some essential workers. One of the groups particularly at risk, police officers, whose jobs keep them out in our community. So Police Chief Michael Moore says extensive measures are being taken here at police headquarters and at other facilities to make sure they are clean. He says 29 officers and five civilian personnel have contracted the virus. One is in critical condition. Another worry for the city, the homeless. The county health department told KNX News Radio, three homeless people have tested positive for COVID-19, along with two homeless shelter workers. The city confirmed an employee of the Union Rescue Mission tested positive Monday and is in the intensive care unit. Andy Bales, the mission's chief executive officer, says they're still taking people in, but have shut down the building's third floor where that employee lived. Dozens are now in isolation on the third floor. More than 100 more are quarantined in isolation at various sites. LA County is now seeing deaths from the virus double every four days. Such an increase was expected, especially as testing ramped up to combat the spread. LA Mayor Eric Garcetti is doubling down on efforts to open up 900 hotel and motel rooms for emergency shelters. But there is also good news from the governor. He is now predicting California could hit its peak as late as mid-May. That's a month after the expected peak in New York, and it'll buy the state more time to prepare and acquire beds, medical equipment, and hospital staff. He says that's all because California made the decision to start social distancing early. And that was the whole point of moving early on physical distancing. There is no regrets in the state of California. From downtown Los Angeles, Cara Finstrom, CBS 2 News.